No, he can do a moan out. That would be great. Is that pretty? Yeah. I think we're going to give him a massage. I was going to say, well, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, no, I'd be well up for that. <laughs> Trulock is somebody that I've admired um, since I was I was pretty young, actually. Um, watching him with John McLaughlin, who I was a major fan of since Shakti and um, and all of his early work. But Trulock, actually, for me, when I went to see uh, John McLaughlin, I was expecting to be blown away by John McLaughlin, which I always was. But uh, I was also very, very shocked to see how blown away I was by, by Trulock and, and what he had to say as a percussionist and his, his incredible command, not only of rhythm, but also of atmosphere and mood and how he used, um, how he used water and all kinds of uh, elemental sounds um, to, to get across a different, a different soundscapes and feelings and emotions and ideas. And, uh, and that, for me... Um, really, you know, influenced and shaped a lot of what I was doing at the time uh, in terms of how I approached um, how I approached performance and and music and composition. I, I really loved the colours that he brought to uh, to John McLaughlin's compositions, and uh, I think the you know that also um, you yeah, know since then he's become a very good friend, and and I've I've got to know him. I spent time with him in India with his own teacher, um, and and. It was amazing because I went through some of the same uh, exercises that Trulok used to go to when he was younger, and uh, and I did that with Trulok, which was a fantastic experience. Um, but also, um, you know, I spent time. Trulok invited me to his house, and I spent a week with him and getting to know him and his family. Um, he's always been very generous and a very uh, thoughtful and considerate musician and collaborator as well. I mean, he's appeared on one of my uh, albums as well. But I think. Uh, more than anything, he, he's an innovator and an originator of new ways of expression um, with percussion. And I think uh, he's, he, he has such a diverse experience and knowledge of percussion. I mean, he's worked with Brazilian artists, people like Nuno Vasconcelos and, you know, um, Joe Zawinol from Weather Report and, you know, John McLaughlin. But he's also worked in a very traditional tradi um, way from Indian classical music. His mother is Shoba Gurtu, who's also a very well-known Thumri singer. Um, so he has a very strong pedigree from so many different backgrounds. And, and that's what I feel very excited about. And I think he's going to bring something very special and very unique to the, uh, to the festival.